click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you assalamu alaikum friends this is sami and you are watching civil engineers youtube channel dear friends today my topic is too much important and many students they are asking about this topic that how we can design column footing okay so design of column footing but this is the square column footing design right so if you need the article about uh, this kind of article new information notes about civil engineering so there are a lot of notes and a lot of article about civil engineering and i update uh, my website daily for civil engineers so you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com okay so if you have any questions so you can also uh, comments there so uh, we will uh, online every time there so we will replay your answer okay but remember like this video and subscribe this channel and just visit to our website www.civilglobal.com if you need the article so the link is in the description of this video so visit and read your articles and get new information and latest information okay let's start but like this video and subscribe this channel for more update videos so design of column footing okay so this is a square column so when you want to design the column so how much steps are required for us to design a column okay so let's come on so design of column required steps the first one step we we need to find out the area of footing okay so this is a column and this is a footing so what will be the area of footing first step okay and second one we need the soil reaction okay we need the soil reaction okay to design a column footing and the third one we need factor moment okay and factor moment so this is a column okay and this is the footing and we need the factor moment for the critical section for the bending moment and this is need to find out the steel and design of steel okay factor moment and the last one we need to find out the required depth okay for the column okay so this is the column this is the column okay and this is the footing so this is the depth of the footing okay what what will be the depth of the footing okay and design of column so column footing depth is equal so now uh, this is the column okay and this is the uh, what we can say footing okay and this one is a bearing capacity of soil okay and the applied load on the column okay which is 2000 kilonewton but this is the square footing okay let's start first of all footing area second one we need soil reaction third one we need factor moment and fourth one column footing depth but keep in your mind this is the part first video and part part second video i will also show you how to design the steel and quantity of steel for this column okay and the column size is 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter so what will be the area of the footing right okay so given data we required here so p applied load which are coming on the column that is 2000 kilonewton so you are able to change it okay so you can put anything here so the size of column i've already told you that the size of the column is here which is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter okay and sbc soil bearing capacity of okay soil bearing capacity which is 150 kilonewton per meter square and 150 kilonewton per meter square soil bearing capacity you are able to get from the lab test okay so there are the many soil and many soil has different uh, uh, strength uh, or uh, bearing capacity okay so this is a column this is a footing and this is the bearing capacity okay and this bearing capacity i have here 150 kilonewton per meter square okay for the different type of uh, uh, soil we have a different uh, bearing capacity okay there is uh, also my article in my website and sailglobal.com and also i have a video in this channel okay 
you are also able to read the article and to watch the video okay and we will use to design the column so we will use the m20 grade of concrete keep in your mind m20 okay grade of concrete so fc this is the type of steel okay the iron steel uh, grade so which i will use here 415 okay so fck this is the compressive strength of the concrete 20 newton per mm square because i am using here m20 grade of concrete so 20 newton per mm square is the uh, compressive strength of concrete okay and fy is a yield stress okay or strength okay so this is the 415 newton per mm square for the fc okay for this grade of steel so now come to start the uh, and require test the first one uh, step the first one area of footing okay so the first one area footing so first of all we have to increase the 10 percent above load okay so this is the p which is 2000 kilonewton so we will increase uh, 10 percent okay so from 10 percent you can get the value okay 10 divided by 100 and multiply with 2000 it will give you 200 uh, 2200 kilonewton okay so this is the increase so formula to find out the area of columns so area is equal 10 percent of p plus p divided by sbc okay 10 percent which is this one okay and of p so this is p okay so it will give you 2200 plus p p again which one this one p okay so uh, from this uh, you can get um, again uh, sorry again p is uh, this one yes so uh, area is equal sbc is a soil bearing capacity okay soil bearing capacity which is 150 okay 150 kilonewton uh, per meter square now here we have a um, yes okay so now uh, we have to uh, find out the area of the column so for that area is equal to 0 0.1 10 percent will become 0 0.1 of 2000 plus 2000 okay and divide by sbc so sbc we have here what we have a sbc 150 kilonewton per meter square so divide by 150 is equal to 2200 divided by 150 is equal 14.66 meter square will be the area of the column for the size of 400 mm by 400 mm when we applied the load 2000 kilonewton right now the footing size area okay uh, is equal area under root will 14.66 so it will give the one side of the column okay so this is a column footing okay and it will give you the s because this is square so s is equal 4 meter how because uh, 14 divided by uh, 14 uh, point six six under root it will give you 3.28 meter so say 4 meter so one side is equal 4 meter and other side is equal 4 meter and the area will be what the area will be 14.66 so the one step is being clear now we need soil reaction okay so soil reaction here yes soil reaction so for the soil reaction, uh, we have a symbol QU, okay, formula PU divided by area of the column. So here PU is equal P multiply 1.5. So this is the factor load for the column, okay, PU means factor load of column. So P already we have a 2200 multiply 1.5, so it will give us... 330 uh, 3300 kilonewton okay this is the pu okay now for the formula we use qu is equal pu divided by area so pu already this one and area we have a 14.66 okay which is this one okay area of column right so from this uh, you can get uh, uh, the uh, soil reaction okay which become 22 uh, to, uh, 225.10 kilonewton per meter square okay now uh, we need the third one step that is factor moment so formula we can use mu is a symbol for the factor moment okay so mu is equal to p means load applied load which is uh, 2200 okay and multiply b breadth of the r uh, s breadth of the footing okay multiply uh, and to L minus D. L is also same like breadth, okay? And D is a depth uh, or uh, breadth of the column. Breadth of the column. And this one is a also length of the uh, footing, okay? And divide by 2. And uh, because this is, look at this, I will uh, show you here. This is the factor moment, okay? So for the factor moment, we have to find out the one side, okay? If this is this one or this one or this one. 
Okay? And this is the column, which is 400 by 400. Okay? So I have to find out the one, so it will is equal to all of, uh, all of side. Okay? So a critical section for bending moment. Okay? So for that, we have to find out. So therefore, we do it divide by 2, because one side and other side. We have to find out the one side. Okay? So L minus D. So L is a length of the footing and D is a depth or the breadth of the column, which is a 400 mm. Okay? And uh, all, all square and divide by 2, 1 divide by 2, because this is a two side. Okay? Therefore, so MU is equal, uh, MU is equal P. We have a the value of the fee 2200 okay this is the applied load multiply 4 4 is the uh, side of the column okay b r b okay and n to 4 l l is already if you said that this is l r this is l again this is 4 and uh, subtract uh, subtract d so d is a okay the column uh, depth we can say or we can say length or the breadth so i've take just the one 400 uh, mm so 400 mm will be changed to the meter because we have to find out uh, the uh, the factor moment in kilonewton so therefore 0 0.40 we will divide it by uh, what we can say this is uh, we have to change uh, uh, to a meter okay divide by 100 so it will give us meter right so sorry thousand okay so for that, uh, uh, we have uh, to find out uh, now um, uh, divide by 2 and all square divide by uh, 1 divide by 2. It will give you 1720 kilonewton per meter, not per meter because this is not the unit, okay? So kilonewton meter, okay? Now we have to find out uh, the required depth for this column footing, okay? So look at this. So now we have to find out the depth of the column footing, okay? What will be the depth? Area is already done and now we require the depth. Okay, cell direction already done, factor moment has already done. Okay, now we have to find out the required depth G formula. We can use D is equal to MU, MU factor moment, right? And from factor moment divided by 0 0.138 is a constant for uh, this uh, depth uh, multiply FCK. And FCK is a 20 kilonewton uh, per mm, uh, 20 newton per mm square, okay? So this is the strength of the, uh, compressive strength of the concrete and multiply B. Okay, and what is B? Uh, B, of, uh, B is already uh, the breadth of or the length of the column footing, okay? So from this you can say uh, 17, 8, 20 is this one, uh, 17, uh, 8, 20, sorry, 8, 20, I've written here 17, 8, 20, yes. 17, 8, 20, okay, 17, 8, 20, multiply, 10 power 6. That's why I put because I have to change it to Newton per mm square. So therefore we will multiply it with 10 power 6. Okay, multiply. Divide by 0 0.138. This one and FCK is a 20 Newton per mm square. Multiply B is a 4,000 uh, mm. Okay, so it will give us the depth of the column footing which is 401 mm. Okay, so now depth of the column will become what 400 depth will come here 400d is equal 400 1 mm okay so this is the depth for the this column footing okay so this is the important topic for today and in next lecture i will show you how to design a steel and uh, a percentage of the steel are required in this column footing okay so you must visit to my website and like this video and subscribe this channel for more update videos thank you all the best bye